Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video with Arch Beaten. And if you saw the stream I did a couple of days ago on the PewDiePie vs. T Series live subscriber count in Minecraft, which you're seeing now on screen, you'll know that I did this in Minecraft. This is an actual live subscriber count of PewDiePie and T Series right now. He has this many subscribers right now, and T Series has this many subscribers right now. Uh, and it's being updated live in Minecraft itself. These are actual blocks. I can go near them. And getting a little server-like. But I can go near them. You can see that they're actually changing right before our eyes. Uh, and today I'm going to show how I did this. If you're curious. And hopefully you can expand on this idea even further. So the way I did this is I had another account down here. If I go in spectator mode, you can see this guy right here. His name is MessageBot. He's an account that I was given. Uh, and pretty much his job is to run the commands that are cloning numbers from over here to up there. But how does it get the numbers? So the way it gets the numbers is it uses this Python script that I made. Don't let it scare you. This is this entire section here, which is the bulk of the program, is just the old way I did it. I don't do it this way anymore. Let me stop that. Uh, this is just so I can show you how I did it at first. So I had this idea to do um, YouTube Rewind Dislikes counter, and I did do a live stream of that overnight as a test, but it was unlisted. And the way I originally did it was I filled a 3x5 area of stone, and then depending on what the digit was, I cut out the things. So for 0, I'd cut out a position uh, 1 to the right, 1 up, by 1 to the right, and 3 up, which made the hole in the 0, and so on and so on, and some needed more than one command. Uh, but that was really inefficient because the thing I'm using to get the commands and I'll to get the commands in the game and I'll show that in a second that can only send commands once a second so if it was a seven digit number it would take 21 seconds to just update it once uh, so the way I got around this was cloning so I have these numbers over here that are the base numbers so here's zero one two three all the way through nine in both colors so whenever the program needs to reference that number, it can just simply take this coordinate and this coordinate and clone it over to the corresponding location. That's all well and good, but it still would take 8 seconds to load an 8 digit number. So Are you I bored yet? Numbers. That's fine. What I pretty much said was that it edited the last 2 digits instead of just all 8, so if only the last 2 digits had changed from what it previously had been, it would only edit the last two instead of all eight at a time. So let's get to the actual moral of this video. So what I've taken from Minecraft in the years I've been playing it is that it's not just a game, it's a window into anything. You can, you can make your own games within Minecraft. You can use Minecraft to display outside information. You can interface something that wouldn't even be possible in the game with the game using something that a community player made like the person that made this proxy he's just a normal person like you and me who just happens to know more about java so yeah draw your own conclusions is minecraft the best game who knows but for me it's really been a great learning experience and i wouldn't be who i am today without it so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe bye